let's go now to the module 2 of business finance which is the financial institutions instruments and markets okay so this is the module 2 of business finance so financial institutions instruments and markets so under this module 2 you have three lessons which is the title itself Okay, so the financial institution for lesson 1, lesson 2, financial instruments, lesson 3, financial markets. So let's start with the financial institution. Okay, so financial institutions and you have uh, motivation activities. Okay, so try to recall a bank that you already been visited what transaction you have performed. If you don't already visit a bank, you can ask your relatives or parents who already uh, visited a bank. Okay, so... Okay, financial institutions. Our organization provides financial services in form of loan, credits, fund administration, etc. So under this financial institution, you have this three, depository institution, financial intermediaries, investment institution. Okay, so let's start first with the depository institutions. So, financial institutions that accept deposits from individuals and corporate entities. So, extend loans to borrowers, transfer funds, and manage funds for investment purposes. So, we have four under depository institution. We have banks, trust companies, credit unions, savings, and loan association. So, first we have the banks. So, we are familiar with banks. So, in our uh, municipality, we have BDO, we have Land Bank, we have also Producers Bank, and FICO Bank, I think. So, uh, banks are institutions that accept deposit and bills payment, provide loan, and facilitate transfer of funds locally and abroad. So, under the Banco Central ng Pilipinas Circular Number 271. So, these are the major classification of banks operating in the Philippines. Okay. So, we have Universal, Commercial, Thrift, Rural, Cooperative, Islamic. So, next, under Depository Institution, we have the Savings and Loan Association. So, referred to as Financing and Mortgage Loan Company. So, ito naman, um, Financial institution accumulate savings of its members. So, kung member ka ng ganitong association, so kung meron kang extra money, pwede mo siyang isave, ilalagay mo siya dito sa association nyo. And if nangailangan ka ng pera, pwede kang mag-loan sa kanila. So, ayan. Sabi dito, depositors are also member borrowers of the association. So, you are a member and at the same time, kapag nangailangan ka ng loan, pwede kang mahiram. We also have the trust companies. So, acts as a fiduciary agent or trustee on behalf of an individual. So, for the purpose of management, administration, and distribution of property to the target beneficiary. So, ito naman, si trust companies. So, kung ikaw, uh, isang owner ng, let's say, for example, business, meron ka sariling business, uh, pwede kang... Um, mag-member sa isang trust company, then sila yung um, mag-perform ng mga tasks na ito on your behalf. So, asset management, ownership, registration for the beneficiary, stock transfer, custodial arrangement, uh, like in court, court, court proceedings. So, ito yung mga pwede nilang gawin para sa'yo. So, from the uh, term itself, so, pinagkakatiwalaan mo siya. So, trust company. And then what, the next one, and the last one, for the depository institution is the credit union. So, exists to help and extend financial assistance to the members by pooling and accumulating funds from all the members. So, parang same siya with this one, savings and loan association. So, this one is credit union naman siya. So, nag-offer din siya ng credit. So, offering competitive interest rates and promoting the concept of thrift. So, pagtitipid. So, yun din. Uh, mag, y sila din, dito rin, sila din yung nag-accumulate ng funds from all the members. And then, yun din yung ipinahihiram nila. 
doon sa mga nangangailangan ng loan. Okay, so that, uh, uh, those four are under the first financial institution, which is a depository institution. So, let's go now to the financial intermediaries. So, what are these uh, financial intermediaries? Okay, so next is the financial intermediaries. So, financial intermediaries acts as the middle person. So, as or from the term itself, intermediaries. So, so middle person between investors and borrowers. So, financial intermediaries are a very broad concept. So, it includes all type of financial institution that receives money from one party and offer it to another as a financial aid. So, in a more technical sense, financial intermediaries do not have depository functions. So, thus commonly referring to the following. So, you have mutual funds, pension funds, insurance companies. So, this figure represents the financial intermediaries. Uh, let's discuss this three. So, first we have the mutual funds. It's the accumulation of money by selling shares of stocks and bonds of publicly listed corporations to the individuals or corporate investors. Okay, so, uh, example of mutual funds is the Home Development Mutual Funds or HDMF which is offered or under the Pag-ibig Fund. So, may mutual fund po doon sa, mga, sa ating Pag-ibig Fund. Uh, nag, nag, kami as government employees or even the private uh, employees uh, naguhulog doon sa mutual fund na yon And then, si Pag-ibig ang nagmamanage mo saan niya ilalagay or kahit saang uh, publicly listed corporations niya i-invest yung mutual funds na naiipon na. Okay, so pension funds. Next one is set up by business for the purpose of paying the pension requirements of all private sector employees who retire from business organization. Okay, so from the term itself, pension funds. So, uh, after uh, you reach a certain age, uh, right now I think 60 or 65, so you're going to retire from service and then enjoy your uh, pension fund. And then, last one could be the insurance companies. So, insurance companies, I think you already heard it somewhere. Or maybe your parents are uh, insured in some insurance companies. Provides protection against the risk inherent to the business or life of an individual in return. They have to pay premium to the insurance company in exchange for the benefit when risk happens. So... Uh, in personal experience, I am paying uh, an insurance every month or a premium every month of uh, a certain amount. And then if uh, something happens or like what the definition says, when risk happens, I will uh, get something from that insurance company as a protection or uh, a premium doon sa aking binabayad every month. And then, last one, investment institution. So, let's go back. So, we already discussed the depository, the financial intermediaries, and dito na po tayo, okay? Investment institutions. So, ano naman ba si investment institution? Okay, so, in, si investment institution naman are companies that are engaged with buying financial securities of other companies for investment purposes only. So, these financial securities are held up to the time of maturity. So, and it earns income in form of interest or investment. So, uh, this one is for uh, composed of wealthy investors. So, they will invest their money in this investment institution until a specific time of maturity, let's say, for example, 5 or 10 years. And after 10 years, they will get their investment plus the interest or dividends. Okay, so we are done with the first lesson. So let's go now with the lesson 2, which is the financial instruments. So what is this financial instrument? So the next element of financial system is the financial instruments. So, financial instruments refers to 
the contracts that give rise to the formation of financial assets of one entity. And at the same time, the creation of financial liability naman doon sa kabilang entity. Okay? So, financial instruments, there are two parties involved daw po. So, one party has the contractual right to receive financial asset and the other party has the contractual obligation to pay the financial asset. Okay? So, first, so we have this common financial instruments in form of first cash. So, we all know this cash. So, financial asset of the holder and financial liability to on the part of the government. So, meron tayong hawak na pera na piniprint naman ni government. Okay? And then, Financial asset of the payee, financial liability naman to the issuer. So, if you receive a check, so that would be your asset, but the financial liability naman nung nag-issue sa'yo. Then, we have also the loan, financial asset of the lender, kung sino yung nagpa-utang, and financial liability naman nung umutang ni borrower. So, we also have the bonds, financial asset, of the holder or investor, so asset siya noong may hawak ng bonds, and considered as financial liability of the issuing company. So, uh, company issue bonds to generate capital. Okay? So, long-term that instrument used by both government and business. So, yun po si bond. And last one could be the stock. So, financial asset of the investor or shareholder Equity of the issuing company. So, asset siya kung sino ang bumili ng stock. At the same time, equity siya o kung may ari pa rin siya noong company. Okay, so under the stock, you have preferred stock and the common stock. So, let's discuss the difference between preferred stock holder and the common stock holders. Okay, so preferred stockholders has a priority over common stock in terms of claims over the asset of the company. So, kung ang company daw po ay magli-liquidate ng asset, so walang mapupuntang asset kay common stockholders unless lahat ng claims ni preferred stockholders ay maibigay. Okay? Tapos po, si preferred stockholders may priority, ay priority po siya kay common stockholders in terms of cash dividend declaration. So, dividends to preferred stockholders are usually fixed rate. Okay? Fixed lang po siya. Ulit po, walang cash dividends na bibigay kay common stockholders unless lahat po ng dividends ng preferred stockholders ay maibigay muna. Okay? On the other hand, si common stockholder naman, ano naman ba ang advantage niya? So, siya po ang real owner ng company. So, if the company's growth is spurring, the common stockholders will benefit on the growth. Kasi hindi po siya fixed, katulad ni preferred. So, moreover, during a profitable period for which a company may decide to declare higher dividends, preferred stock will receive a fixed dividend rate while the common stockholders will receive all the excess. Okay? So, yun po yung dalawang stock natin. So, let's go now to the last topic or the last lesson for the module 2. So, we have the financial market. So, ano ba si financial market? So, ito yung lugar kung saan nagtitrade na ng mga uh, ating financial instruments na na-discuss natin kanina, si bonds, si stocks. Uh, it is an organized forums in which the suppliers and users of various, uh, various type of funds can make transactions directly. So, ito po yung type ng ating financial market. So, we have primary market, secondary, capital, money market. Okay? So, ano ba itong mga to? Ito na lang natin siya i-discuss. So, primary versus secondary market. Okay, so primary versus secondary market. So, kung kailangan ng pera, yung user daw ng funds, dediretso kay primary market. So, to issue new security. So, etong new security na to, itiatawag nating, ito, 
So, initial public offering. So, yung IPO na sinasabi natin. So, kapag ang isang company ay kailangan additional capital, pupunta sila diretso kay primary market. Pero, kung yung mga nakabili kay primary market, so, eto na po sila. However, supplier funds or the holder of securities may decide to sell. So, yung mga nakabili na kay primary market, Oh, yun. Previously been purchased, so the sale of previously owned securities takes place in secondary market. So the Philippine Stock Exchange is both primary and secondary market. So next is the money markets and capital markets. So with regards to money markets and capital markets naman, so si money markets, venue or securities with short-term maturity, so one year or less are sold. So kapag si capital market naman ang um, pupuntahan ninyo, so on the other hand, securities with longer maturities are sold in capital markets. So if uh, you want to uh, invest in longer term maturities, ng mga securities na meron kayo, mga stocks, preferred or common stock, kay capital market. So, one year above, kay capital market po tayo. So, that ends the discussion of Module 2, which is the Financial Institution, Instruments, and Markets. So, you can now do your activities for Module 2. And I will be discussing next at the module 3, which is the flow of funds and uh, the role of financial managers.